What's up everybody, this is Captain Sovan, Captain of the Starship Enorma Prize, bringing you ma another episode of Masters of Orion. I've been playing a lot of Galactic Civilizations 3, because I finally figured out how to play that game, and as you probably know from yesterday's video, that, um, yeah, I've been doing a lot better. Um, oh, oh yeah, you are exploring this system. What's down here? Um, a pretty darn good world. Medium, Terran, and poor. And I gotta remember, uh, compared to GC3, oh, come on, zoom out. Compared to GC3, um, the planets in this game do work a whole lot differently. So, like, as they grow, um, we put food and research on. You don't specialize the planet in, in something, and there's no culture. So, this, this might be a weird episode, because I've been playing a game completely different than this. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. Bringing up. Uh, Summer allergies. I've been playing a game that's completely different than this, and it might take a little bit to get used to. Ooh, a radiated world. That one's not too bad if we had the ability to get rid of the radiation. Alright, and zoom all the way out and head back up here. I kind of wish there was a middle zoom. Like, not a full all the way out zoom, but a zoom like in between those two. That's kind of annoying me, but whatever. That's just a minor hiccup. Um, we are sending stuff over here to get this going. I want to kind of block off that area so we can um, um, have that as our territory. And this side, let's see, what are you building? Oh, you're building a bunch of colony ships. Yeah, because I want to capture these planets before um, um, before the enemy does, so I can uh, cut off areas for my territory. And we can figure out where to expand once we get our military built up. Oh, oh, and something I totally forgot to do. Um, beginning of every episode, we're supposed to check our um, our conditions, and I forgot to do that when the game started, but whatever. We'll do it right now. So score-wise, we're dead last. That's not good. That's an overall score. Um, we may have to start acting and doing something. Military-wise, we're eighth of nine. We probably need to build up our military. We're fourth in technology. We are one techno technology research behind, so we may have to start pushing that. Economy, we're six. Uh, planet size, we're, we are dead last. Okay, so we definitely need to expand. Um, and Antarians doesn't really matter. That's late game. So we definitely need to expand our colonies and we need to expand our military. Okay. Um, let's see, the rest. We only have two colonies. Huh. Yeah. Um, let's go ahead. Well, you're you're gonna be done in two turns. That's fine. I guess we'll start pushing out some more of these colony ships, and um, start getting a military going. Because the enemies are starting to build a military, and I don't want to be dead last because they're gonna be like, oh, oh, you're weak. Okay, we'll take you over. And then there goes the game. So yeah, we want to keep our military going. And I'm sorry I keep making the camera do that. The middle. Um, zoom in area is just really really annoying me. I might have to move around a different way than my mouse. Um, like if I can move around with arrows, eh, it's a little bit on the slow side. Um, there might be a way I can increase that. Hang on, give me one second guys. Okay, so there apparently isn't a way to speed up the um, um, how fast a, a map moves around, so eh, whatever, we'll just get used to it. I thought there would be like a sensitivity or something. Alright, um, we need to discover more people. I think originally I was just going to go around the rim, which I might just keep doing. Excuse me, I might just keep doing that. Um, freaking allergies. Our, our season's all screwed up over here. We actually have, um, like, our season's like back to normal. We had like a heat wave, like a summer-like heat wave at late May. And it, it's throwing everything off. Like, all the trees don't know what to do. They keep blooming. Um, all the animals are confused. So it's... It's weird. This has been a very interesting year. Threatening fleet detected. Is that the... That's the space monster. He's not threatening as long as we don't go to his territory. He doesn't care. Discovered that. Ooh, yes. Colony ship has arrived. Colonize that planet. We just colonized... Looks like Dagobah.
land on Dagobah. I would love to change the name of this um, of this planet to Dagobah. The problem is I'm a horrible speller, so if I do that, it's it's probably not even gonna spell Dagobah. Um, screw it, let's try it. I am 100% sure it's not how you spell it, but that's what it's gonna be spelled. Dagobah. <laughs> Wait, where did that N come from? No, there's not supposed to be an N. There we go. God dang it. Okay. Um, we want an automated factory, biosphere, and you. And then after that, government facility, probably a starbase next. Um, let's see, research. Our research is starting to fall behind, so we'll build research after that. And if I buy this, we won't have to worry about production. And this planet can automatically start growing. Yeah, because if we get our colony ships going to the other stations, and they can't grow, then there's no point of having it. So yeah, let's go ahead and buy you. I'm going to switch you... Oh, come here! I can switch you over to production for one turn so that gets done. And then I can switch over to food. Okay. Cool. God dang it. Oh, I actually named the entire system Dagobah. Well, whatever. <laughs> it's the Dagobah system. I was trying just to name the planet. Is there a way just to name? Yeah, rename system. Huh. Whatever. It's the Dagobah system now. That's what it's going to be called, and that's what I'm going to do. Ooh, Mustafar. A small size... Sorry, I have a lot of Star Wars playing in my head right now. I don't know... <clears throat> Excuse me. Whenever I play this game, I always think of Star Wars. I don't know why. I think it's just because of those scenes and when you're coming in to land on the planet. It just reminds me of all the Star Wars scenes. But we found a small volcanic planet with red fungus on it. I have no idea how the fungus is living on a volcano planet, but whatever. I will not question game logic. I'll just be grateful that that, that that system is actually producing food on a volcano planet. And I keep using the wrong controls to move things. Get my water out of the way. I've been drinking a lot of water lately because it's summertime. Which, I mean, you're supposed to drink a lot of water. I just never do. I just drink soda. Which works good for like fall and spring, but once it gets hot and you're moving around a lot and your body's burning more water, I end up getting cramps in my legs because I'm dehydrated. The combine wishes to initiate trade protocols. Alright, you want to trade star charts for star charts. I actually need to find other people, so this isn't a bad, bad trade. Let's see, what's our reputation? They're currently calm with us. A little bit on the good side. Okay. I don't see any reason not to do this trade. Cooperation modules engaged. Besides, I like those guys. They're cool. Okay, colony ship has been completed, and an automatic factory has been completed on here as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and switch you up to that, and now these will build on their own. And our food will grow over time as well. How are you doing? You're building the automatic factory. Oh yeah, you, you built the farms already, so you're growing without anyone on farms. Um, so once that automated factory is done, we can put you back up to food, and then you'll grow like, you'll actually grow pretty quickly. Um, how are we growing on the main planet? Why are we stagnated? Um, I want to get these guys out as quickly as possible. Also need more people on research. Because our research is starting to fall a little behind. Oh yeah, we're we're gonna get a class one shield. Cool. That'll help our military bases. Cause unlike um Cataclysm 3, really? Unlike Galactic Civilizations 3, I don't have to upgrade the stations. They do it automatically based on your tech. Um hmm. I really want to get these out as quickly as possible, so we're going to keep it like that. But you are built. I want to go down here and capture this system. I really want to make a push for these. 
But that is way too far out of our territory. That might be like the first area we go to start um, capturing things. I want to go down there. I want to capture that planet. Alright. Move our fleet. You have four more turns until you get there. And I can build a military base there. I also need to get more of those. Um. Oh yeah, we also need to build these. Dang. So much to do. So much to do. But I need another one of these. So let's put you in queue to there. And then we also we need to get a fleet going. I mean I'm expanding rapidly, but that's because I want I want here up to here as my territory for now. And then once we get a military and everything going and we have the ability to push. Then I want to push down to here and here. That would be good for our territory. The fleet needs orders. Okay. Um, you continue down this way. Continue through the outer rim. Found three planets there. Okay. So don't care about those. Don't care about those. Oh yeah, automated factory has been completed. Oh yeah, duh, that was earlier today. Colony ship has been completed, which has already been moved. Alrighty, this turn is done. That space monster is still moving back and forth. I am so glad they actually don't leave the system, because he could easily wipe me out completely. He's a very powerful monster. It's not a threatening fleet, it's just a monster that's bored and keeps going back and forth between two planets. Three more turns until you're up there. Fleet needs orders. Um, let's explore this system. Found another volcanic planet. Okay. But I know this system is going to be fought out a lot between multiple computers because there's three very good planets all in a row in this system. If that wasn't on the other side of the um, combines. Uh, territory, I would push for that side. Okay. You got six turns till you get down here. How many... Like, how big is our fleet right now? Our fleet is literally one frigate. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, definitely once we get all this done, we need to push for more, um, more stuff. So you're growing pretty decently. You have a long time until you're grown, but you are growing. That's what matters. You have 20 turns until you're done, which that will also help improve our research. Because I always forget, even though that thing only produces one food, it also produces more research. Let's see, you need a research laboratory. Um, we're falling behind on research, and I want to get that caught up. Um, and then build that. And then, I guess after that, build a starbase. Well, a starbase isn't really isn't really required yet. Yeah, we're, we're not maxed out on our... Um, um, command points yet. So I guess for you, um, we'll have you start building frigates. So, because we need to get our military up. I don't want to be the best military, but I don't want to be the worst military either. I mean, because we're still early in the game, so they're not really going to attack me yet, but if they look at me, be like, oh, you have a super weak military compared to me, I'm going to kill you. And then game over. Because we all know how that works. We all know how that works. Oh, wait, that's his territory. Here's mine. Alright, I was a little confused there for a second. So two more turns I can start building that. And I also need to get these. But if I can get down to here, put two there. One, oh yeah, we already have one there. Okay, that's good. We need one there. And one here.
We have a lot of construction to do. Threatening fleet. Uh, that's not a threatening fleet. That is an innocent squid. It's probably Squidward. He's just going back and forth because he doesn't know what planet. Um, that's He's trying to avoid Spongebob and he's probably following him back and forth between these two planets. So that's why he constantly keeps moving. I'm sure that's what it is. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I do... Spongebob is probably one of my favorite shows. I don't care too much for the new ones, but the old ones were awesome. I... I watched them all the time um, when it was on Nickelodeon. Ooh, a gas giant. Nothing we can do about that. So it's probably one of my all-time favorite on TV shows. Um, let's bring you down here. Explore that one. Oh, that's a toxic planet. Alright. Um, I think there's a research later on that we get that can help out with that. Okay, next turn. There's nothing else we can do. You have one more turn until you get to your destination. There goes Squidward. I'm gonna name the Squid Squidward. It's gonna be awkward when I go and kill it, but he's just running away from SpongeBob. All right, you move in that direction. All righty. Now you construct a military outpost. That will block that side off. So that side's unlocked. We need to get one here, but first we need to get a planet here. Um, I think that's where both of my new ones are going, right? Oh, you're toxic. We can't really colonize you. We can definitely colonize you. Um, so where's the second one going? Is it going here? Oh, that's low gravity. You're not worth it. You're kind of work it. You're barren, so I wouldn't really say you're worth it. Is there one up here that's worth it then? No, you're low gravity. Huh, where's this last one going? I mean, I want to definitely capture this so I can get that asteroid and get these going. Maybe it's going here to the barren planet. Yeah, I guess we'll put the last one there on the barren planet. Because this is already in our territory, so it's not going to matter. Okay. Fleet needs orders. Alright, you go down here. Ooh. This ocean has gold on it. That's interesting. Ocean, planet, medium, and poor. Not bad. Not bad at all. You're kind of far away from me, so I'm not going to push for you for a long time. Okay, you got that sector all scanned, so let's go in this direction. Just Josuke has been exp has been found. Nice. Okay, I've got ten more turns until that's done. Uh, you got three more turns until your next thing's done, which I can buy out right now. If I buy you out, you're going to help the expansion of the planet. Because um, I can move this one up to here now and really start pushing the food up. Yeah, that'll be down to 18, plant 18 turns. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and buy it out. How are you doing up here? You got a really long time. We're building things to help you help your food, so that's fine. And my main planet's not growing anymore, which is fine, I guess. <laughs> um, I think I'm gonna just go ahead and take this colony ship off. Um, we just want to get this one done, and then get the space factory done, um, because this planet over here is not really worth colonizing. And there's only two ways to get to it, and we're gonna have both areas blocked off, so no, uh, no player will be able to capture that. Because people can only come through through these warp points, if you guys didn't know. I'm sure you did. I think I said that in a previous episode. But in case I didn't, you know, you know. Threatening fleet. No, that's just Squidward running away from SpongeBob. Don't worry about it. Automated factory completed. Yep, because we bought that. And advanced magnetism has been researched. Hooray! Just a minute of your time, President. Heck yeah, I want shields. I'm a defensive person. 
longer my ships last, the better. Our scientists have made a new discovery. Now we could update our frigate. Hooray! Um, so we get to be able to put more defensive capabilities. So let's put our class one shield on. Now we have too much weight. Um, the shields absorb everything. So I don't think we need as much as these, but these aren't really heavy. So I guess we have to reduce our firepower. Here we go. Can we increase this? Nope. Alrighty. So we lowered our missiles by one, but we gained a shield generator, which will help us defensively. So the Lazrex have been updated. Hooray! Our scientists are eager to start. What should we focus on? I think it's time to start getting engineering. They'll give us our destroyer class vessels. Yeah. Terrific. Uh, do we want to update this? I mean, it's only one frigate, but yeah, do it. We're pretty much broke now. We have one coin, one billion credits. I'm, I'm, I think I'm just gonna call these coins because saying I have like one thousand billion credits, that's just weird. So we could, I'll probably just end up shorting those to just normal coins. That way things aren't confusing. Alright, you got three more turns until you get to that planet. Uh, let's see, a fleet needs orders. Explore that planet. Uh, teeny Tundra with rich minerals. That's a, not a, a very interesting combination. That'd be a good industry planet. Um, alrighty. Still got a while till our last colony ship gets built. Oh yeah, you have been completed, so I'm gonna put you up here so that your food starts growing rapidly. And by rapidly, I mean 18 turns. So it's gonna take a while before our planets start growing, but once they start growing, they're really gonna help out because they'll start They'll give us more taxes, because right now we, we're not making a lot of money. And that's because I'm kind of, I'm in an expansive phase right now, so I'm trying to get a lot of, a lot of planets going, so I'm buying a lot of structures. But once they start getting built up, that will all pay off. Alright, next turn. Move all of my ships. You still got two turns. Um, you got eight turns until you're done. Hmm. Alrighty, that sector is done. Let's move down to here. Oh, hey, cool. We found a system with nothing on it. Those are always fun. Fleet needs orders. Alright, let's discover the biggest planet first. Ooh, we discovered a new alien race. Welcome, yes. stranger. I am the Empress of the Mershon Pride. If you scratch our backs, we'll scratch yours. I love these people. I don't know why they're cat people, but they're probably my favorite race in the game. You are currently relaxed with me. That's cool. So you guys are probably located over here on this side. Uh, let me see what we're currently... Um, people we have discovered. Oh yeah, we discovered these guys, I forgot. These guys are very aggressive, so they're probably going to attack us first. Um, I think these guys are passive. Uh, let's see. And these guys I think are passive as well. Hmm. Alright. Probably what I'm going to end up doing is allying with the Mechlars um, and have him help me fight the um, Bulrathiaf, the bear people. I'm going to call these the robot people, bear people, and cat people. It's I'm horrible with names. If you've seen any of my other episodes, my other playthroughs, I cannot pronounce names worth of crap. So I just end up like doing that stuff. Greetings. What is your query? Um, let's see. What's declarations? Don't spy on us. Oh. Yeah, I don't care about that. Hmm. 
recording specifications. Non-aggression pact. Oh, we need an embassy. I'm sure I need to research that, don't I? Alliance. No embassy and non-aggression pact required. Vote for a human. Oh yeah, that's for the election. I forgot, you can actually uh, persuade people to do that for you. If they like you enough. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff like that you can do here. Um, so yeah, we need an embassy, which I believe is a type of research to start anything. I'd have a nice solar period. Oh, I'll have a nice solar period. Don't you don't don't you fret about that. That was weird. My, oh, that's because I'm zoomed out all the way. I'm like, why is my galaxy moving so weirdly? I have a proposition for you. You want my star charts, huh? I mean, he's gonna give me his star charts for my star charts. They'll reveal a lot more things on the map. Yeah, screw it. I mean, right now it's my nobody's face. really killing each other yet, so there's no reason to really be hostile. And yeah, we revealed 56 planets. Wow, it's a lot more exploring than I have. Colony ship has arrived. Hooray! Let's go ahead and colonize this planet. Tundra. Looks a lot like off. Alright, sorry about that cut. Um, Toyota just called me. They wanted me to remind me about my maintenance on my new two, uh, 2018 RAV4. I don't remember if I said this in any of my other videos, but I did accidentally. I did get in a accident with my Toyota Highlander, and I had I totaled it, so I had to get a brand new car. And what's funny is I've had this car for three weeks, and I Uber as a source of income to uh, pay for the bills. I've already put 2,600 miles on it. So yeah, if you ever Uber, you drive a crap ton. Just putting that out loud. But anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and get this queued and probably end this episode here. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It does help us out a lot. If you uh, like what I do, please consider subscribing, checking out the other things that I do on the channel. And um, if you uh, want to support me further, I do have a Patreon in the video description you guys can check out as well. Um, anyways... Until next time, guys, this is Captain Sovan signing out.